Hello, welcome to Resinaholic. In today's video we are going to talk about acrylic pouring with resin on canvas. Acrylic pouring with resin is a popular technique among artists and crafters, who create unique and vibrant abstract art pieces. It can be a beautiful and fun way to create unique art pieces on canvas. Here are some tips and advice to help you get started with acrylic pouring. Choose the right materials. Use high-quality acrylic paints and a pouring medium that is compatible with your paints. Use a canvas or other surface that is sturdy and able to withstand the weight of the paint. Mix the paint and pouring medium thoroughly. Make sure to mix the paint and pouring medium thoroughly to get the right consistency. The consistency should be thin enough to flow easily, but thick enough to hold its shape. Experiment with colors and techniques. Acrylic pouring is all about experimentation and trying new things. Play around with different colors and techniques to create unique designs. Don't overmix the paint. Overmixing the paint can cause air bubbles and affect the final outcome. Mix the paint and pouring medium just enough to get a smooth consistency. Use a blow dryer or heat gun. Using a blow dryer or heat gun can help to create interesting effects in your pour. You can also use a palette knife to create different patterns in the paint. Practice patience. Acrylic pouring can take time to dry and cure properly. Be patient and let the paint dry completely before touching or moving it. Protect your workspace. Acrylic pouring can be messy, so make sure to protect your workspace with a plastic sheet or tarp. Wear gloves and an apron to protect your clothes. Have fun. Acrylic pouring is all about having fun and being creative. Don't worry too much about the outcome and enjoy the process of creating something beautiful. There are various acrylic pouring techniques that you can use to create unique and interesting designs. Here are some popular techniques. Dirty pour. This is the most common acrylic pouring technique. In a dirty pour, you mix several colors of paint with a pouring medium in a cup, and then pour the cup onto the canvas. Flip cup. In a flip cup, you pour the paint into a cup, and then flip the cup onto the canvas, allowing the paint to flow out. Swipe. In a swipe technique, you pour the paint onto the canvas, and then use a tool like a palette knife or a card to swipe the paint across the surface. Tree ring. In a tree ring technique, you pour the paint onto the canvas in a circular motion, and then use a tool to create rings around the center of the pour. Dutch pour. In a Dutch pour, you pour the paint onto the canvas in a circular motion, and then use a blow dryer or heat gun to spread the paint across the surface. Puddle pour. In a puddle pour, you pour small puddles of paint onto the canvas, and then use a tool to spread the paint out. String pull. In a string pull technique, you dip a string or chain into the paint, and then pull it across the surface to create unique designs. Experiment with these techniques and don't be afraid to try new things to create your own unique style. Acrylic pouring is a versatile technique that can be used to create a variety of designs and artworks. Here are some acrylic pouring ideas that you can try. Galaxy pour. Use shades of blue, purple, and black to create a galaxy-inspired pour. Add white paint to create stars, and use a toothbrush to create small splatters for a more realistic effect. Beach scene. Use shades of blue, green, and white to create a beach scene pour. Add sand or small shells to the canvas, after the pour has dried to create a 3D effect. G.O.D. Create a G.O.D.-inspired pour using shades of purple, blue, and white. Add gold or silver metallic paint to create a natural stone effect. Floral pour. Use shades of pink, purple, and yellow to create a floral-inspired pour. Use a palette knife or brush to create petals and leaves. Rainbow pour. Use all the colors of the rainbow to create a colorful and vibrant pour. Use a straw or a blow dryer to create a gradient effect. Ocean Waves. Use shades of blue and green to create an ocean wave-inspired pour. Use a palette knife or brush to create the shape of waves. Abstract Art. Use any color combination you like to create an abstract pour. Use different techniques like a dirty pour, swipe, or string pull to create a unique design. Remember, these are just a few ideas to get you started. The possibilities are endless with acrylic pouring. So don't be afraid to experiment and try new things to create your own unique artwork. The timing for an acrylic pour painting depends on various factors such as the size of the painting, the thickness of the paint, and the humidity and temperature of the environment. Here are some general guidelines for timing when creating an acrylic pour painting. Drying time. Acrylic paint dries relatively quickly compared to other paint mediums, so the painting can be touch dry in a few hours. However, it can take up to 24 to 48 hours for the paint to fully dry and cure depending on the thickness of the paint and the environmental conditions. Layering time. If you plan to add multiple layers to your painting, 
It's important to wait until each layer is completely dry before adding the next one. This can take anywhere from a few hours to a day or more, depending on the thickness of the paint. Tipping time. If you plan to use the tipping technique where you tilt the canvas to move the paint around, it's important to do this while the paint is still wet. Waiting too long can cause the paint to dry and create a less desirable effect. Resin application time. If you plan to apply resin to your acrylic pour painting, it's best to wait until the paint is fully dry and cured, which can take up to 48 hours or more. Applying resin to wet or partially dry paint can cause the resin to mix with the paint and create an undesirable effect. Remember to always test the timing and techniques on a small test piece before applying them to a larger painting. Now here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do an acrylic pour with resin on canvas. Materials Acrylic paint in various colors Pouring medium Resin, epoxy or polyurethane Mixing cups Stirring sticks Canvas Heat gun or torch Gloves Drop cloth or plastic sheet to protect your workspace Instructions Prepare your workspace by covering your work area with a drop cloth or plastic sheet to protect it from spills and drips. Mix your acrylic paint with the pouring medium in a mixing cup. The ratio of paint to pouring medium will depend on the brand of pouring medium you're using. Generally, a good starting point is one part paint to one part pouring medium. Mix thoroughly until the consistency is smooth and free of lumps. Choose your colors and pour them into a new cup one at a time layering them in any order you prefer. Once your colors are layered in the cup, pour the mixture onto the canvas in any pattern you like. You can pour it in a straight line, circular motion, or any other pattern you desire. Once the paint is on the canvas, tilt the canvas to spread the paint and create unique patterns. Tilt the canvas in different directions to spread the paint evenly. Let the painting dry completely before adding resin. This may take 24 to 48 hours, depending on the humidity and temperature. Once the painting is dry, follow the instructions on the resin packaging to mix it properly. Mix the resin and hardener together thoroughly in a mixing cup. Pour the resin mixture onto the canvas, spreading it evenly with a stirring stick or plastic spatula. Be sure to cover the entire surface of the canvas, including the edges. Use a heat gunner torch to remove any air bubbles that may have formed in the resin. Move the heat gunner torch over the surface of the resin, being careful not to stay in one spot too long. Let the resin cure completely, following the manufacturer's instructions on the curing time. Once the resin is completely cured, your artwork is ready to display. Note. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for the pouring medium and resin that you are using. Wear gloves and work in a well-ventilated area when working with resin, as it can be toxic if not handled properly. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.